that's the first thing I've said all day. I just woke up um, and I just thought that I would vlog and I don't really know why because it's not like I'm doing anything special today or the next few days but it is officially like my last week of summer. Um, school work starts for me next week in a few days so um, I really want to try to enjoy these last few days especially because um, I tried really hard to make videos this summer. I didn't do the best job. <laughs> There's still a lot of videos that I wanted to make that I didn't really get to, but it's okay. I just thought I would take you along on these next few days, starting with this morning. And, um, yeah, I don't really know what this vlog's gonna be, but I, sorry, <laughs> I'm looking at my pillow. My pillow has this tag on it and it's really annoying me. Okay, there we go. Anyways, um, I wanted to like be honest on here. So um, I've been trying to film videos for a couple of weeks now because I really wanted to get into a consistent routine when I was posting every Monday. And my last video was the one I made with Josh and I had all these video ideas, but when I would go to make them, I would be so frustrated. Like it wouldn't be what I thought it would turn out to be. And I'm a huge perfectionist and that's something I kind of just need to get over, especially being creative. And I feel weird calling myself creative, but I am. I'm a creative person. I have vision, I have ideas that I like to execute. And when they don't turn out the way that I want them to, I'll just stop it. Like I'll just completely stop what I'm doing, not continue it. And that's something that I really need to work on because I'm never gonna make things or create things. You know, not everything's gonna be perfect. And sometimes your mistakes are your masterpieces. <laughs> that's such a cliche thing, but you know, like everybody makes mistakes and sometimes your mistakes can be really amazing to some people. So like from a creative side. So um, yeah, that's just a little heart to heart. But today I'm coming on here. This is such a long intro. This is almost three minutes long, I'm sorry. But with that all to say, I'm just gonna vlog what I feel like vlogging. When I started this channel, I had no pressure on myself. Like I was just doing it for fun. And then it's become this thing where I feel like I put pressure on myself and shouldn't be like that. I don't have like 100,000 subscribers. I have 100 subscribers and I need to just relax and just have fun. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really tired. I don't know if you can tell. So we're going to go. I'm actually going to shower, get ready for the day. And then we're going to make coffee and I'm going to show you my favorite coffee recipe right now because it's amazing. And yeah, I'll see you when, when we're making coffee. Okay, I'm back from the shower. I'm actually about to braid my hair into two french braids because tonight at um, youth group we are doing oh my gosh <laughs> i'm like crazy um we're having an 80s theme night so all the kids and uh youth leaders dress up as um like you're from the 80s and so the kids are the kids the teens sorry the teens are super excited about it um because the summer stranger things season four came out and they all watched it so they're just so pumped to dress as like they're from stranger things so um, I'm going to French braid my hair to kind of give it that crimped look and then I'll show you later what I'm doing. I have a whole, I have a whole vision for my hair. Um, but yeah, I won't record me doing my hair cause that's going to take forever. So this is before and then I'm going to do the snap and then yeah. So ready? Boom. My hair is braided. Also, I started doing my makeup. Um, but yeah, so I actually, I am so tired this morning. It's actually ridiculous how tired I am. Um, I also, there's a mirror right here. That's why I'm looking up. Um, last night I started watching um, this like YouTube um, crime video because I've been really into learning about serial killers lately. I actually used to want to be a criminal psychologist when I was younger because I was fascinated about that kind of stuff. I, I like genuinely almost chose it as a career path. I was obsessed with criminal minds, all that jazz. Um, but anyways, with all that to say, I was up really late last night watching it and then I ended up falling asleep. Actually, no, I have that reversed. I 
started watching it yesterday evening. I fell asleep at like 6.30. Then I woke up at 9. <laughs> and then um, I wasn't tired anymore because I had fallen asleep so early. And um, I woke up at midnight and I started going down a rabbit hole freaking out about my wedding decorations. I was literally texting my mom at midnight. I'm like, mom, I'm freaking out. I don't know what I want for the wedding. And um, I was just like, Brianna, just go to bed, go to sleep. So I didn't go to sleep until like 2 a.m. And I'm exhausted now. <laughs> and it definitely shows because I have huge bags under my eyes, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to finish doing my mascara, getting ready for the day. And then I'm going to show you that really yummy coffee recipe. It's going to be so good. You're going to love it. And I'm excited to show you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> of iced coffee it is sort of like a latte i should have warned um it's good if you have like an espresso machine um that's how i make it um but super yummy if you're not a huge cinnamon person it might not be for you but if you like cinnamon go for it it's literally so good i've been making it every day all right i'm gonna pick out what i am gonna wear for the 80s night tonight. So I'm thinking this striped shirt. And then um, I have these, they're, what are they? Balloon pants? I think that's what they're called. They're very big and poofy, I guess you could say. I don't know how to best describe them, but they kind of blouse out like this. I think that would be super cute for tonight. And then I have some white converse and then that's gonna be the fit all right now um i'm gonna do some quiet time and i thought i would show you kind of like my quiet time i don't want to say routine but what i've been doing in my time with the lord um and what's been working for me everybody's different um but this is something that i've been doing and it's been really good it's been blessing me a lot I'm learning a lot, and so I just thought I would share. All right, I always like to light some kind of candle just to create sort of an ambiance, um, and you can barely see them, but I have these <laughs> twinkle lights that I just turned on. Um, I need to change a battery because they're starting to be dim. Also, it's a very cozy, gloomy day, which I love <laughs> having just cozy days like this and just being with the Lord. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you what I do. Uh, in the morning. So I, these are my, uh, staples, I guess you could say. Um, and I'm not going to lie. Every time is different. Each season is different. So this book, um, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> um, my utmost for his highest. This is a book. It's a daily devotional. It's, um, 365 days of the year. So today's August 10th. And I actually read this like a couple years ago, so I've already have a bunch of stuff highlighted, but it's so beautiful. I can't really, I honestly can't recommend this one enough. Um, always have some kind of highlighter or pen uh, to highlight or circle, whoops, uh, some really good stuff if something stands out to me. Um, got the Bible. Right now I'm actually reading in 1 Corinthians see if I can open it with one hand. Um, oh, this is not 1 Corinthians. This is Isaiah 4110, but um, I'm reading 1 Corinthians. I always try to read a chapter a day from a book of the Bible um, and just really meditate on it. And I also 
uh, we'll look up a commentary. There's this commentary on Google. It's called en Enduring Word. I can link it down below. I actually recommended it in my How to Start Reading Your Bible book from last year. Uh, but I, it essentially just helps me to have a better understanding of what I'm reading. And then I have a journal. Um, I'll journal sometimes. I'm not a huge journaler, but sometimes I will do that. Um, but that's kind of what I do. And then I pray. I also have a prayer list, prayer requests that I'll go through and read in there. I have a ton of books that I kind of go back and forth on as well. There will be some seasons that... I will like read in a book and then I hop to another book and then I, it's so bad. I really just need to like sit through and just complete a book. Like I I'll complete books, but I just like hop back and forth if that makes sense. But right now there's this one book I've kind of started reading. It's called Unshakable Hope by Max Licato, um, building our lives on the promises of God. So I'm actually probably going to read this today as well. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I do. Um, but like I said, everyone's different. Everybody has their own things that, you know, helps them to feel closer to God and every season's different. So, um, my advice is to get a devotion, obviously your Bible and, um, just dive right into it. Don't be afraid to, cause it can feel intimidating, but it's important that we spend time in the word. So yeah. Hello. It is a couple hours later or a few, a few hours later. Um, I just got back from work change into some different clothes and I'm about to make a quick little dinner for myself. So I'll show you what I'm making. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is what we've got going on for dinner. Um, it looks kind of weird, but this is like my lazy hack, like my lazy dinner if I don't feel like cooking really anything. Um, so I have some turkey breast and I've sort of rolled it up to, <laughs> oh my goodness, Journey, get down, into these little cheese <laughs> roll things. Um, and I've got some carrots, hummus, blueberries, um, this uh, sweet potato that I kind of uh, baked in the oven yesterday, some leftover, and of course ranch because I can't eat anything without ranch. Um, so that's what we've going on, lots of protein. I'm still navigating being gluten-free, so this is kind of the deal. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this because I feel like this is a lot. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat this and yeah, we're going to get going. So we have a little bit of a change of plans to the schedule for tonight. Um, long story short, I've been exposed to COVID. Um, I'm fully vaccinated, boosted, all of that. But as we know, people with the vaccine are getting it. Um, and I was looking up guidelines. So I had youth group tonight and I texted one of the youth leaders and they thought it'd be best if I stayed home just because I'd be in really close contact with a lot of people. Um, I've tested, I tested yesterday. It was negative. I tested on Sunday. It was negative. So, um, I'm really hoping I don't get it, especially cause school starts next week. But, um, I was looking up CDC guidelines, and I could be wrong, but if you are not vaccinated, you should quarantine for five days. But if you are vaccinated, we're supposed to wear a mask. So technically, I could go tonight, but just to be safe, I'm not going to. So that's kind of like the the update for all of you. Um, so that's kind of the deal, but I am... I have a package I have to pick up at the post office and I would probably put it off with this, but um, it's an important package. So I really need to go get that tonight. Um, and I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna wear a mask and be really careful, distance from people, be safe. And I also have a package, <laughs> it's the worst timing. I have an order at Macy's that I have to go pick up too, but I'm gonna do curbside pickup. I'm going to wear a mask, make sure it's very safe. This is literally the last day I can get it. I don't know if I said that. I totally lost my train of thought. But um, otherwise, I'd put it off. But I literally have no choice. Today's the last day, and they won't extend it for me. So I'm going to do that tonight, but it's going to be very safe. I'm going to take all the precautions. I'm technically, as, as I'm aware of, I don't have COVID. So, but just to be safe, I'm actually so sad because it's also our senior send off tonight for the seniors in youth group. And I really wanted to be there. It's not like I won't ever see them again, but it was a special night. 
am so sad, but it's okay. Um, the vlog is going to continue. The show is going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Um, so I will take you along to get my package. Um, oh, also I didn't explain what the package is. I'm really excited because, um, a couple weeks ago, my laptop just stopped working and I was really frustrated because it was a new laptop. I had only had it for, I got it last September. So I was really upset because it's kind of basically new and, um, I, technically it's under warranty, so they were gonna go, they were gonna try to fix it. It was a MacBook. They are gonna try to fix it, I sent it in, and then they couldn't fix it, so they gave me a refund, but it worked to my favor because I got a newer version of the Mac. I ended up getting a MacBook Air instead of the Pro, I had the Pro. Um, and it's a 2020, not brand new, but newer than the one I had, so I'm really excited, and it just got in. I have to go to the UPS store to pick it up. And maybe I'll just show you my unboxing. I don't know. It could be fun. So yeah, I'll take you along when we do that. All right, the package is here. Um, I have to be careful because my address is printed on the package label, but there it is. In all her beauty, she's arrived. So. I'm trying really hard. I'm so excited to open it, but I'm gonna wait until I get home um, after Macy's, so. <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying, we're going to Macy's. Um, the UPS store was a success. There was like basically not really anybody in there. There's a couple people, but um, I didn't have to, I didn't really have any close contact with anybody. I came in and the guy just gave me the package, so very 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 minimal contact literally like no contact whatsoever so that's a success in my book um yeah oh no I'm driving okay I'll see you at Macy's okay so this works out perfectly I'm at Macy's and doing the curbside pickup thing and um they don't even have to come into my car they can just put it in my trunk just chilling with the trunk open and so I don't have to be in contact with them. I don't know why I'm still wearing my mask because I'm like not even going to be talking to them. But um, yeah, watch me be doing the most and like not even get COVID. Really hope not. But I mean, I want to be safe. I don't want to give it to anybody. So I'm just trying to be careful. Yep. That's all, folks. <laughs> Talk to you later. All right, I'm finally back home and finally unboxed my laptop. I love it already. Um, also, look at how awful my hand is. I totally just cut myself with a knife. Use English as the main Whoa. language. Press the return key. Okay, I'm gonna work on setting this up and then I'll talk to you later. <sighs> so. A little bit of an update um it's been a couple hours since we last chatted um and my throat hurts and I have a headache and I don't think it's in my mind like I don't think I've made up these symptoms because I was focused on getting the laptop set up and just doing random stuff and my mind wasn't thinking about COVID and I just don't feel good now. So I'm going to take another test. <laughs> I really, oh, I'm going to be so sad if I have COVID because this is literally my last few days of, of summer. If I'm stuck inside the next five days. <laughs> Anyways, let's open this bad boy up. I'm a pro at this now. It's my third test. I'm doing, oh man, Let me make sure I don't like destroy the package. This is the most random vlog. I'm sorry guys. Here we go. Oh, this part is the worst. It already tickles. <laughs> All right, folks, we are in the clear. No COVID, woo! Yeah. <laughs>